you guys didn't know, espresso, when you're brewing it, um, all of this foam right here is called the crema, and that's the oils of the beans rising to the top. Guys, I finally did it. Look at that perfect. I finally made a cappuccino. Oh my god. So I bought a French press and that was the best decision ever and it only cost 12 bucks and I finally was able to do like that kind of milk that you get at restaurants. Show you guys. You put your espresso first and it goes all the way in the bottom. Make sure it's not too much. So only about two shots. This is just a demonstration. So this is what the milk looks like and you just have to make sure you tap it, swirl it a couple times. It's called polishing. So, I haven't mastered latte art yet, but basically, look how foamy and silky that milk is, and look how it looks. So basically, if you guys didn't know, a cappuccino is about one or two shots of espresso, and only about five to six ounces of foam. I only had a little bit of foam, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like in a clear shot, and look how beautiful that is. Wow. So all of those Starbucks brands, um, Coffee Bean, they never made milk like this. They always made it really bubbly. So if you go to a legit coffee shop and they do um, latte art, that's where they usually have really silky and nice milk. So, um, But Starbucks and Coffee Bean ain't got no time to make um, latte art. So basically, it's just really foamy and um, yeah. They so these are basically my main tools of making coffee and I'll show you guys each product and why they're so important. Okay, number one. This is the first one that I've ever gotten. If you guys have seen my Snapchat stories, this is an espresso maker from Italy and it's honestly the best ever. Get this at Amazon for around 20 bucks, but it's really worth it because it makes really fresh espresso every single morning. You don't have to waste money anymore. Okay, number two. This is the French press, so I actually just got it today. And uh, with this, you can make espresso and also make perfect milk. So basically, what does espresso mean? Um, espresso means it's really dark coffee. It's um, the darkest roast that you can find. That's where you can make espresso. So basically, to make espresso with the French press, you have to put really dark coffee, grounded, preferably fresh. Add some hot water, push down, and that's gonna make the espresso at the bottom. So, milk temperature. This is also one of the most important keys of making good milk for your lattes or cappuccino. So I also got this on Amazon for like $6. It's a digital thermometer. Basically, you want the temperature to be around 130 degrees to 160. So the important thing about the temperature is if you pass 160 degrees, the milk loses its texture and also its flavor, so it's best to keep it dirty. And also, if you don't have milk, preferably um, you can use 2% uh, or non-fat, but non-fat is the best. You can also use soy milk, silk milk, lactose-free, anything, any dairy, non-dairy product to make this, but preferably milk is the best result. So soy milk. Soy milk is kind of a problem because I found that soy milk doesn't um, foam as well as milk does. But you can of course use it, you can use any non-dairy product, but uh, preferably milk because it just gives the best result and it makes that silky texture. But you can use anything. So if you guys don't want to buy the French press to film your milk, you can buy this uh, wand. It was about $5 on Amazon and it just works. Alright, I know this seems like a lot of tools, but last one. Um, this is a cup that is an aluminum um, type of cup and it's like a measuring cup for coffee. Why it's really important is that there's measurements inside and also these are the kind of cups that they use at the coffee shops that you go to because of this little... Uh, the thing about it is that when you pour it, it perfectly has a little spout right here at the end so it can evenly pour out the milk instead of a measuring cup. So if you guys are willing to um, try this out, basically go on Amazon. Most of these products are on there. You can find any of these on Amazon and yeah, it's the best. So. All right, one more thing. If you guys are heavy coffee drinkers like I am, I recommend getting caffeine free coffee sometime. And you guys want to know why? Well, caffeine causes gas. And if you drink coffee every single morning with caffeine, you're going to go to the bathroom all day. Not kidding.
So if you guys feel that you have to go to the bathroom too much, if you drink coffee, because you know, we're all college students or whatever, um, get caffeine free. Mm -hmm.